here, 2-0-K-I-A. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a, a video, so I thought it's about time I did one. And this one, I'm pretty excited because I've got myself a new rig. Um, I did have a Yaesu FT991 um, All Mode Fusion Digital, but it wasn't really my cup of tea. Um, I wasn't too keen on the touch screen. Um, it just just wasn't for me. So I looked about. I tried to sell on eBay, but then I went to a Radio World in Cannock in the West Midlands, and um, they part exchanged it a straight swap for a little QRP rig, and that is the Yaesu FT. 817 ND. It's a brand new, brand new three year warranty from Radio World. And I had some modifications, which I'll go through in a minute. Uh, altogether, it would have cost about um, 650, I think, or thereabouts. And the radio cost around 450. But I had, uh, I had the, uh, the DSP board um, put in, and I had um, the Mars mods also uh, modded, <laughs> so I can operate on any fre any frequency on the radio. Um, I've always wanted. I've had a an eight one seven ND before, um, but that was before uh, I upgraded my license to intermediate, and then I could use fifty watts and. Although this is only five watts, um, I want to get more into QRP and camping with the radio. So this is, I haven't opened the box yet, so I want to go through uh, the un unboxing of the 817ND. Yeah, a nice, a nice uh, part of it is uh, Radio World gave me um, some free headphones worth £25. Nikon Micro Blaster Headphones, red. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. Uh, apparently they're, they're just as good as the uh, the ones you get for the iPhone uh, and for radio, so I'm gonna use them for both, probably. <coughs> I didn't actually think I was gonna get to Canuck because my car's been playing up. I've got, yeah, still got the Voxel Frontera, um, but I've just been having that many problems with it lately. Uh, probably go through that in another video. But, um, yeah, talk about that another time. When, when things go wrong with cars, it just winds you up too much. Right, so, here we go. What have we got, nice? I like my new toys, I always like toys. Got the Yaesu map. See how old? I always hear about these. I've got one already because I've got a, a Yaesu 857. What's that? Let's open it up so you can see. That's what you get. Yaesu map. This Yasu Limited Warranty Card. Okay. Limited warranty valid only in the country region where this product was originally purchased. Right. <coughs> the manual, always good. I was considering getting one of those nifty manuals, but seeing as I got this already, I might not need to. But the nifty manual is uh, waterproof. So I won't look into that. Well, so you get, you get a, a nice sticker. Yaesu, the radio. Um, this transceiver works on frequencies which are generally permitted. As for the actual usage, the user has to possess it, an amateur radio license. 
Usage is allowed only in the frequency bands which are allocated for amateur radios. Okay. Oh, there you go. Also, Declaration of Conformity. Okay. Read for that too. Right, this is the uh, this is just the booklet, the um, booklet for the BHI BHI NEDS P one zero six one KVD. It's the DSP. Um, it cuts out. It's basically a, a board which is installed separately. You have to. It's an optional choice to have it installed. I think it costs about. £120 to have it installed um, and what it does it cuts out all the background interference and the static uh, so you can hear people better I have, done a, I have done a video on one of the speakers I bought for it so right what else have we got Power cord. <coughs> See what I'm hoping to do is go camping, and I found a good camping spot where I can do a bit of uh, hopefully wild camping and camping where I can get my got permission somewhere. So hopefully I'll be able to go camping soon. Have some more videos. It's just a standard um, plug. Okay, put that aside for a minute. The radio, the ultimate prize. So there you go. You can all see. Basically, that there is uh, a modification, an optional modification, the DSP, BHI DSP button. And I think there's usually three, three settings um, or three, three modes that you can press to cut out the different levels of noise. This is a, a battery operated. Uh, as well as you can put, you can plug it into a mains. You can connect it to a, an external battery, or you can put um, AA batteries in it, which is amazing. It's really good. I'll put that down there for a minute. <coughs> We've got the aerials. Two and seven, two meters, seventy sevens, and six meters usually. Oh, I've got these somewhere. It's always good to have spares. And we've got a shoulder, shoulder strap. I was hoping it was going to come with the the case. I did have a case for my last one. So I'll have to purchase that one at some point, just to keep it from uh, getting scratched. This is the battery. You can get better batteries than this, and I, w I will probably get one better ones. This is the uh, 9.6 volt. 14 mih battery pack fiddly 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 connections uh, i got a little ferrite ring clip thing coil whatever um they're useful i do use these a lot because there's so much interference in my neighbourhood. All right, we've got this. You got the uh, AC adapter PA four eight U. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice. So usually they come with uh, US adapters, and then it's um, it's always a pain to get the travel adapters to fit on there, to so we can charge your radios up. But it's nice to have a UK plug. So that's handy. I've also got the VX7R, which this connection works for as well. When you get new, when you get new stuff, it's always best to keep the boxes as well. Because you never know if you're gonna sell it or anything, and the boxes always help. Always help to add value. What's this? Oh, I think this is the mic. MH31 dynamic microphone. <clears throat> That's just a little clip for the uh, for the dashboard or the car for the mic to go on. Uh, that's uh, just just they're like um, rubber feet for the bottom of the bottom of the rig. Oops, there you go. broke the rig. <laughs> Standard. Standard mic. Okay. I don't think there's anything else in the box. No, just the box. No more free gifts, unfortunately. But I will, tr I will try and power the radio up for you all to listen to. For those of you wondering what license I've got for my amateur radio, I've got the intermediate license. Uh, there's a lot of people who um, follow my channel. Uh, I know it's from the United States. Uh, you know, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Um, our license structure is a little different from the US, uh, but, but at the same time, it's, it's a bit similar still. Uh, you've got foundation, intermediate, and advanced. Um, I believe in America it's a uh, technician, general, and extra. I believe our foundation is our beginners, uh, and you can only use you can use up to ten watts, and you can work virtually all the HF band, uh, VHF, UHF, with some restrictions on what on some frequencies you're not allowed to use. Um, Foundation, you, you can't, you're not allowed to, uh, I don't think you're allowed to build anything. You're not allowed to build anything. Um, uh, I did this in another video and it always, I always forget it. Intermediate, that's the license I've got at the moment. I can construct my own radios and use them. I can use up to 50 watts. Um, I still can't use my license abroad. But when I get my advanced license, which I will hopefully get next year, I'll be able to use my license abroad and use up to 400 watts. So that's something I'm working on. Right then, back to the radio. <coughs> it's got like a little back here. Oh, uh, right, okay. It's already got the... Uh, the AA battery train side. That's good. Just slides out. And it's all connected. Last thing I want to do now is break anything. Right. So that's the uh, the double A battery tray, which holds uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
I think it's about 12, 12 batteries, might be wrong, probably am, always am. Right, so, we've got our battery, <coughs> here we go. You have to be so delicate with some of these things. I got it. There we go. Did it go to click? And you place it in, and you go. But you gotta try not to get the cork. The uh, you gotta try not to get the um, the wires underneath. Otherwise, it gets stuck. Okay. Alright, so that's on. Should keep this little plastic scratch thing on really, but I call standing on being on, so I'll take it off. Okay, right. Mm, moment of truth. There's a little button there, power button. Oh, yeah. I'll attach the uh, two meter. And so I'm just turning the squelch down. Probably won't hear nothing in here, but I might be able to pick up something. So I am a bit, I am familiar with this radio, so I do know mm, some of the settings. Yeah, I'm quite chuffed with it. Uh, let's put the squelch back on. Try the DSP. So what I mean by the noise level? You press it. One. I still got to work it out. But that's cut out all, this, all the uh, interference in the background. Now it's only with the rubber, the rubber ducky on the top. Okay. So I've got to go to settings. And make sure the HF antenna is coming from this side. It's not tuned in anyway, so I don't know what if it will pick up anything. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna fix the radio. This thing to the um, air band. So, what is it? 
That's uh, one three three six hundred megahertz. And plug the mic in now. But I'm only going to keep it for a split right second. No, no, I won't actually. No, it's illegal. I shouldn't do it. <laughs> Should do it with dummy load, really. Uh, TX here though, it comes up, I'm not allowed to anyway. See, they Mars modded it, but I'm not sure what frequencies they is supposed to be the Mars mod. I'll have to look into that. Right then, anyway. Thanks for watching folks, and I'll uh, hopefully have a few more updates on the radio. Uh, we'll be working it, hopefully, soon. Alright. Take care. 2 0 KIA, sign out. <laughs>